In this video, we're going to do a quick tutorial on how to take a storyboard sample you've created in Storyboard Designer and move it to an AppMel SAM9 board running Linux. So the first thing you need to do is export your storyboard design and simply come here and put it onto, in this case, we're going to use a USB stick to move it over to the hardware. So all I need to do here is simply point it at my USB drive, which is my G drive on this one, and give it a directory name. This example will be thermostat. And then you just click finish and it'll start copying all the files over. I've already copied them over just to save time, so we can just cancel out of here. The other thing you need to do is you need to go to wherever you installed a storyboard. In this case, it's program files. Go to the storyboard engine directory, the latest version that you have and grab the correct runtime version for you. Uh, in this case, we're using an Atmel Linux board, so we're going to go RMLE FB Dev, and all you have to do is simply copy that directory and drop it onto the place that you're going to use. So we've already copied it here, so you can see on this directory we have the same directory there, just copied right from where it was, and the thermostat demo. So. Now that that's all ready, we can now move to the target. So we'll eject our USB stick. And we'll come on over to our Atmel target. So we can log in here. And we'll insert the USB stick into the device. and we're ready to start going. So the first thing we need to do is there's a default demo that comes up on the Atmel device so we're going to want to get rid of that so we can simply run the script in inet d to take care of that for us and simply call stop to it and now our demo is gone and the frame buffer is free for us to uh, own completely. So the next thing we need to do we mount in our USB stick that we uh, plugged in here. And then, as you saw before, inside this USB stick is just simply the runtime component directory and our thermostat demo. So, to get going, all we need to do is set up two environment variables and then we're ready to launch it. So, the first environment variable is our plugins. So, you set up our GRE plugins. just to tell it where the plugins are that uh, it needs to load for different pieces of the system so they are all kept in our directory under plugins and if you just pass the whole directory name it'll just load all the plugins it finds in that directory and the next piece we need to do is just add our library path to the system library path so that it can find the libs that storyboard requires. So we'll keep the old path and then add on our new one. And that's all for that. Now all we have left to do is run our application so we can simply go into the bin directory for the storyboard executable bin and now we can run SB engine and point it at our thermostat demo. Now we have our thermostat demo up on the screen and it's all ready to start being used so we can test it out, see how everything's running, I'm trying to make sure everything's exactly how we expect it, and that's about it.